Hello students, welcome back to EME Education Made Easier, a channel just for you. Before I begin, I would just want to thank each one of you for your support and love that you've shown to our channel. Thank you for all the positive feedback. If you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe the channel. And if you like the content, do give us a thumbs up. And today I'm here with the sample paper for class 10th. So what you need to do is go to your Google and type cbscacademic.nic and you would be taken to a Google page where you would open your CBSC Academic. This is the official website, children. Please, whenever you hear something, you know, on the social media, confirm by going on the site. So once you go on the site, you will be able to understand whether the announcement is authentic or not. So please don't rely upon the uh, announcements made on social media. Go to this website and cross check. So for example, here you can see SQP that is sample question paper, right? So SQP for 20, 21, 22 is available, class 12th and class 10th both. So currently I'll be showing you for class 10. So when you click on class 10, you would be taken to another page and here you can see, you know, sample question papers are uploaded for term one and term two. You've already seen them for term one and you've given your papers also, right? So now here are the sample question papers for term two. So if we talk about language and literature, so let me just open the question paper for language and literature and show you. This is the page that will open and it shows the sample question paper. Now, what kind of questions are you going to get? Because the maximum marks are again 40 here. But this time, because it is going to be a subjective paper, it definitely is going to be a bit different. So when you scroll down, you'd see that first of all, you'll get an unseen passage. So, and on scrolling down, you would see that, you know, um, it has six questions. So out of these six, you have to do any five. Fine. So these are to be written. Now there is no MCQ sort of a pattern. So you'll have to write the answers on the basis of the, uh, you know, understanding of your passage, whatever you understood on the basis of that, you have to answer these questions. So any five out of six, please be very particular. When you're choosing those five, you should be well confident about them. Okay. And if you do all six, the examiner is going to check only the first five. So the last one, even if it's right, it is not going to be checked by the examiner. So be very, very particular as to when you're reading this instruction given to you that you have to do any five out of the given six. Okay. Then now what will happen is we would be moving to the next one. This is also an unseen passage. And as I told you, 10 marks uh, unseen passages will be there. So five marker was the first question. And five marker is going to be the second question. And this is going to be a case study, uh, you know, passage. So whatever case you will get, you'll have to study it briefly and analytically and then answer the questions. In this also, what you will get is six questions. And out of them, you have to do any five. Got it? Moving on to writing and grammar portion. Again, you have two sections that is one and two and you have to do any one so for example the first one is study the concept chart from the self-help magazine section of a monthly publication so this is the chart given okay this is a self-help chart given and then you have to write a paragraph in not more than 120 words analyzing the listed responses to the situation when one faces setback so one is this the other one is for the visually impaired because see the visually impaired cannot see this table so for them there is a different sort of a question so they cannot read it but yes somebody else reads it for them and they are able to answer fine so this is for the visually impaired candidates who are not able to see properly right then we had the second question that is again for five marks the first one paragraph writing was also for five marks and this is again for five marks that you are Samina Javeri of class 10th and uh, you read this information on the library's notice board. Now you wish to participate. So the information is not enough. Now you have to write a letter to Teen Toggle Games and inquire about whatever you want to know. So there are rules, scholarship details and deadlines that you want to know, right? 
and uh, that you would be writing in five marks. Okay. Coming to grammar, so grammar has become more simple now. Three marker editing will be there. So editing, you know how to edit. In case you do not know, you can click on the URL that's showcased above because this is a very effective video on editing and it will help you understand how you can edit a passage. right in case you commit errors and you do not score 100% marks then this video is definitely going to help you out okay so here we have a passage that has to be edited and it's just a three marks moving down now uh, we have a conversation that is you know it is not dialogue writing it is reported speech basically okay so you read the dialogue given and then you have to convert it into uh, indirect speech and fill in the paragraph okay the rules have to be followed strictly then you have 20 marks are covered in your unseen passage grammar and writing now 20 marks ka literature is there so what is there in literature first of all you get short answer type questions that is you have to answer them in 30 to 40 words and uh, they are two marks each so here also you will get seven questions and out of these seven you have to do any six again please be very confident as to which ones are you going to answer do not answer all the seven answer only six all right and if you are confident yes you can answer all seven but why to waste time be uh, precise and stick to the you know six selective ones fine similarly uh, the seventh question is you have to answer any two from the given ones there are 120 words in which you have to answer these questions so there are three questions and out of these three you have to answer any two right that's all for today in case of any doubts or queries you can drop us a message on instagram or you can also drop them in the comment section below i'll revert to them as soon as possible see you in the next video till then bye bye